we are going to do some kind of CrossFit workout. My name is Anne May and I will be teaching you the movements. So first we have a strength bar. We're going to do some push-ups and after that we're going to do an app workout. So first we're going to start with the strength. We're going to do four sets of 10 to 15 reps of push-ups with one minute of rest in between. The push-up goes as follows. Put your hands underneath your shoulders. Go stand in a plank position. Go down with your arms next to your body and push yourself up. If that is too hard, you cannot do 10 to 15 reps in that position. You can also do it on your knees. So go in a plank position on your knees. Same with the hands and go down and go up and do it 10 to 15 reps in that position. So after every set, we're gonna have one minute of rest and we're gonna do four sets in total. So are you ready? Grab a yoga mat, grab a towel, put it on the floor for your knees, for your hands, and then we're gonna start with the first set. So 10 to 15 reps, I'm gonna do 10. If you wanna do more, that's fine. Keep it between 10 and the 15, 13, 14, I don't care. Choose a number that you can do for the four sets in total. So here we go. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So, going to wait until I press on the timer for a minute so you can finish your 15. And there we go. One minute of rest. So, keep your body nice and straight. Keep your head, hips in line with the body. So no going down or butt going up. Go all the way down and go all the way up. Shake out those arms. 30 more seconds of rest. And then we're gonna do the next set. Twenty seconds. Ten seconds. So for the skilled version, I will show you. Go on your knees. Five seconds. Keep doing the normal version if you can. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I will wait again so you can finish to fifteen. And here we go with one minute of rest. So you have two options: the hard one or the easier one. On your knees. Make sure you keep the set unbroken, so no rest in between. So, 30 more seconds of rest. Shake those arms. Two more sets to go. And then the strength part is over. So, 15, 15, get ready, in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here we go, And 
and that's 10. I will wait so you can finish. Everyone on his own tempo. And here we're starting with one minute of rest. So, three sets done, one more to go. Keep your technique the same in all four sets. I know when it gets hard, your technique is gonna go bad. Hopefully it will not. And keep your back nice and straight, arms near your body, alongside your body. So not in like the T position, but here. And then we won't have any injuries. So one more set, 10 seconds. Gonna show you the steel version again. You can just do on your toes or on your knees. Two, one, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here we go. We did our strength part, and now we're gonna do the app part. So what we are going to do, we're going to do four rounds or four exercises. The first one is going to be a sit up. So you're going to sit on your bum with your feet against each other, the bottom. You're going to go lay it down, tuck the ground behind you, swing up with your arms and tuck your toes. So I'm going to sit like this. Swing, swing with your arms and set your toes. We're gonna to do that 15 times. After that one, you're gonna go lay down, put your hands underneath your bum, shoulders off the ground, legs straight, go up and go down and stay just above the floor. So that's one, two, three, like that. So that's the second exercise. Third one, we go in a plank position and we tap the shoulder with your hand. So with your left hand, you touch the right shoulder and the other way around. We're gonna do that 20 times. Tapping the shoulder is one, so one, two, Three. And then the last one, we go into a side plank. It's called a side plank rotation. Put your hands up in the air, go underneath, reach as far as you can, and go back up. It's really difficult with balance sometimes. So like that, 10 times on this side, and then we switch sides, and you do it all. On the other side. Keep your body nice and straight so no hips going down. Nice and straight. Reach and reach up. All the ex exercises you do nice and controlled and slow. No rushing the movements because we want to engage the abs. And if we Hurry to the movements, we don't get the results we want. So we're gonna do four rounds. We're gonna do 15, 15, 20, and 10 each side, so 20 in total. And then we're gonna do it four rounds. After every round, after each round, we're gonna have some rest, like maybe one and a half minutes, and then we're gonna do it again. So are you ready? Gonna start with 15 sit ups. So, feet against each other. And there we go. One, two, three, four, 
5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So, first exercise done. We go to the next one. Hands underneath your bum, shoulders from the ground, feet in the air. One, two, So next we're gonna do the plank touches. So doing a plank position. One, two. to the next one plank side rotations go into plank position up reach one two three nice and controlled four five six seven eight nine and that's done on the other side one two three four And that's 10. So, one and a half minutes of rest, and then we go to the next one. So, three more rounds. First one done. Very good. And we're just gonna wait one minute and 15 seconds. Breathe in and out. Get your heart rate down, and prepare for next set so with abs it's very important that you do the movements slow steady and controlled so don't rush through the reps just take your time and then we get the best results so 40 more seconds and then we start with the sit-ups again, 15 sit-ups to be exact. If you prefer this way, that's also fine. But in CrossFit, we do it with the feet against each other. But that doesn't really matter. Pick the one you like best and do that one. So, 10 more seconds. Then we're going to start with the second set. This ab workout. So here we go. Two, one, and there we go. Just perform the movements on your own tempo. And I will wait in between movements for a little while so everyone can finish. And 
with 11. So I'm at 15. Wait a little bit so everyone can finish. And we go to the leg raises. So hands underneath your bell, shoulders off the ground. And here we go. One, two, 15 of these. Next one, plank shoulder taps. Wait a little bit longer. Are you ready? And here we go. Switch side. Here we go. And that's 10. So, one and a half minute of rest, starting now. So, done with the second round of the four. So, halfway done, two more to go, and then the workout is finished. If you are doing a longer time or less time over the movements, that's fine. Just do it on your own tempo. And then everyone can have a great workout. One more minute. Then we're gonna start with the sit-ups again. So, as I said, two more rounds, and then the workout is over. And then we trained our abs and our push-ups. So, 30 more seconds. So in CrossFit, we usually start with a warming up, then we do a strength or skill part, and after that we do a workout. This time, we just started with the strength part, and now we're doing the workout part. Five, four, three, two, one, and here we go again. So sit-ups, 15 of those. Step all the way behind your head and all the way to your toes.
So I did 15. Next exercise, leg raises. And there we go. One, two, your legs nice and straight as you can. 12, 13, 14, 15. So, second exercise done. Going to the third one. Plank taps. Next, then on the other side. And that is 10. So, here we go. One and a half minutes of rest. So, that was the third round. One more to go. And then we're all done. So, some of the exercises are too hard for you. Or the reps are, are too much. Skill them down. Do instead of 20 or 15 reps, 10 or any amount that you are comfortable with performing. If the leg raises are too hard, bend your knees, go down, go up, go down, go up, the same way as we do with the straight legs, only bend your legs a little bit. If the shoulder taps are too hard, just stay in the plank position for the amount of time we are doing the shoulder taps. The sit-ups are too hard, scale the reps down, so do it instead of 50. 10, and if the rotations are too hard, stay in the side plank. So don't rotate, but only stay in the plank position. So here we go again. Last round, here we go. One, two, 15. Reps to go. Three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, 
and 15. Swing there with those arms. This is going to help you up. Here we go. With the legs, hands underneath your bum, shoulders off the ground, and here we go. One, two, skilled version. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15. So, two more exercises. So, shoulder chaps in the plank position, skill position, and if you can, tap your shoulders. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven. Twenty. So, one more exercise to go. Side plank rotations. So, skilled. Just hold the plank like this. Hips nice in line. And if you can, rotate. One, two, three, four. Oh, balance. Five, six, seven. On the other side, one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's ten. Good job, everyone. I hope you enjoyed this strength and app workout. I hope to see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye.